All right, we're doing a job, a different job now, but uh, we've got some putty left over, and we can actually put it on here. Looks sloppy, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Should have got a smaller uh, applicator, but that's what we got. Make it work right now. Next coat, we're going to use a smaller applicator. This just happened to be the one I was using on the other job. I don't know if you hear it, but uh, we're getting some thunder out there. Anyway. Like I say, this looks sloppy, but uh, we're going to grade most of this off. The sloppy it is, the better it is for me. The less we'll have to put on next coat. Starting to harden. I'll get some of this off of here. I don't know if I'm in frame. I'm trying to stay in frame for you, but I'm also trying to concentrate on this. All right. All right. I'm happy with that. Set that down there. It's not sitting on there, it's sitting on the, the two front things in the back, so you don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. Alright, just hardened up enough that I can uh, cheese grate it now. I have, a, I have a small flat one, which would have been ideal for this, but uh, I don't know where it's at. So. Up here, I'm going to take pretty much all of it off and just leave the center. Keep doing this, and then I'll turn you guys back on when I uh, pretty much have it done. Instead of wasting your time. All right, I turn this back on because some of you guys see me doing this. I was just getting the heavy off of the, the edges here, but when you actually come down to it, I want to go along this way. That will that will make that even with the outside surfaces. I just wanted to show you that. I didn't want to give anybody uh, the wrong idea. Let's see. Then that'll actually give me the, the perfect uh, diameter there. And even for some of this other stuff, like up here, we don't need none of this. You just quick get rid of it with the razor blade. Where are you at? I'm going to try to keep you in sight there but uh, this is where you save all your time you shape it shape it and get it to the the, the size you want and then uh, the next couple coats is easy Good. 
Sorry, I keep flipping around on you, but that, you know, you gotta work fast because it's, uh, it's still hard now. And I still got another one over here to do. Alright, thought I'd just show you that. Looking good, looking good, Brother King. Alright, we gotta shape down where we want to. Uh, this side here came out uh, just about perfect. In fact, I just gonna need one real light coat of. Uh, putty top coat but uh, this one here this is uh, when my putty started hardening up so uh, we're starting to lose it but uh, this one does have some low spots but uh, we still might be able to get it with uh, one more coat I probably won't use any glazing putty considering where it's at and what it's being used for there's no sense in wasting the good glazing putty I and mean, this stuff is close to fortune you know, glazing putty and stuff, so you don't want to waste it on something silly like this. So, uh, we'll give this another coat and then uh, sand it and see what it looks like. Alright. Alright. Yeah, these came out real good. I'm happy with them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a real thin coat on and we'll cut it down with 220 and uh, that should be good enough. You know? I'm not going to worry too much about them. I mean, these are low on the ground and uh, Christ, the inside you're not even going to see because of the wheel and stuff, but uh, we'll make them look good. Alright. Alright. I'm not using too much uh, hardener here. I don't want the frit. Oh. Thank you, honeybee. I don't want to, uh, I don't want it freezing up too fast because it's, uh, it is pretty hot out here. And I got a little applicator. Put it on a little easier. Looks pretty good, eh? I know it's round and I'm putting it on this way, but it's just the way we gotta do it. Looks pretty good, eh? Oh, let me turn you guys around. I can't see you. All right. I'll try and keep you in view here. It's tough to do. I'm doing it. See, I'm working on this one, thinking this one's in view. Sorry about that. I say, I'm not going to get crazy with this. I'm almost stuck it in Honeybee's face. pretty good for the most part all right, I'm gonna do this other one I'll get back to you guys all right yeah sort of lighting up on me I'm gonna clean some of this off but uh, for the most part it's smooth and uh, I think it'll be okay all right all right yeah we're happy with that I mean uh, they're as done as they're gonna get I mean they are just forks and they are down low so uh, they probably look better than they really should. So, uh, <clears throat> if it wasn't raining out, I'd take them out and prime them. But uh, it's raining out, so uh, we'll have to wait on that. But uh, maybe we'll move on to something else. All right, it's another day, and uh, we got some nice weather out there. A little hot, but uh, good enough for painting. So, we just cleaned these up with some lacquer thinner. And I'm uh, going to take this one out and uh, prime it and top coat it. Same with this, prime it and top coat it. But uh, the forks here, I'm just going to prime them, give them a good heavy coat of primer because I don't have the top coat for that yet. I'm going to try and match that color so I don't have to paint the whole scooter, but uh, we'll see. 
So let's go outside and uh, get some paint on these. Alright, yeah, they came out pretty good. You can't even tell there's any body work on there. And uh, I'm happy with that. I set them out here in the sun to dry, but uh, the sun the sun just went behind that cloud. It'd be alright. They're pretty much dry. That came out pretty good. I'm happy with that. And even this little guy. You know, like I say, it's only a scooter. All right, what else can we do? Let's find something else to do. All right, it's been a couple of days since we painted this and uh, it came out, I like the way it came out. And uh, the forks look okay too. And uh, I was able to pick up some paint. I got this color here. I was trying to match this, you know, I mean, that's, uh, that's more of an orange. A reddish orange, you know, but that's as close as I can get, which is fine. I mean, it's a scooter, right? So, uh, let me, I'm gonna uh, sand these down because, like I say, it's been a couple of days. So, I'm gonna sand them down and uh, we'll bring them outside and paint them. It's pretty nice out today. And then maybe we'll come in and uh, throw a decal or a sticker on that, uh, the housing, see how that looks. All right, hang tight. All right. I got the first coat of paint on there. Actually, the, uh, I'm, I'm happy with the color. I mean, uh, there's so many different shades of red, uh, and that one seems, uh, it looks okay, right? The hell, it's only a scooter. All right, what we're gonna do with this is, uh, I was gonna put a decal on there, a sticker. And here's an original, right? Here's a fine example of what uh, an original one looks like. It's almost 70 years old, that decal. And it's still in good shape. Whoever put it on, put it on a little crooked. Let me unplug that light so you get a better look. I see a reflection. Hold on. All right. Yeah, them bright LED lights are great for uh, working, but uh, as far as filming and stuff, I mean, everything's got reflections on it. But uh, like I said, this is a fine example of uh, a brake sticker. Uh, whoever put it on, it must have been a Friday or a Monday because it's, it's crooked as hell. And, uh, but uh, that's what it was. You know, they weren't show engines. They just throw their uh, brand on here and they're good to go. Alright, with this, I have a couple of reproduction decals, you know, the water transfers, and that's what I usually put on the, you know, the, the show engines. But uh, this one here, this is, this is a reproduction, a bad reproduction out there. Whoever silk screened it couldn't get the red lined up with that. But anyway, you know, I hate to waste a, a water transfer on, on this. So what I have here is, uh, these are just vinyl stickers, you know, I mean, uh, the quality of the print and everything is good and everything, but uh, like I say, this, this decal is 70 years old, and when they advertise these stickers, they say good for nine year, they call it nine year vinyl, so uh, I mean, it's going to last longer than that, because it's going to be indoors and stuff, but uh, that's what I'm going to do, and this is, this is, uh, the actual year for that. You know, everybody looks at a brake sticker and thinks they're all the same, but they're not. You see this one? This is a, this is a newer version. And they had block letters here, and the four was a little thicker. And the earlier ones, you know, they had the, the B was a little larger. They're all block, well, not, I wouldn't call them block letters here. They had the serifs on them. But uh, the B is, is larger than the rest of the letters, and so is the S. So that's what we'll do. We'll go with this one. I mean, this is uh, this is the one that belongs on that year, and uh, we'll show you how to do that. Even even putting a sticker on, you know, there's a, a little technique too. So uh, let's do that. All right, the original ones here are. Uh, let's see, still glare. Huh? I will. Can't nothing about it. All right, uh, there we go. The top, the original ones are uh, three quarters inch. The point is three quarter inch from the, the edge of the thing there, so that's easy because I uh, I just happen to have some three quarter inch tape. So, all right, we'll do that. We'll put a three quarter inch there and then just square it up and level it, and make it make it look good, and uh, center it. This one, this one isn't even centered. All right, all right. I guess even with uh, putting these stickers on, there's a technique so you you don't get uh, bubbles and stuff, you know. Well, at least this is how we used to do it uh, back in the day, you know. 
back in the 70s, uh, 70s and 80s, uh, wood grain, plastic wood grain vinyl uh, panels was popular, and uh, you'd have to put you'd have to put a big uh, four by eight sheet of that on without any air bubbles. So what you do is uh, get some uh, soapy water. I, I use this, you know, it's Windex, and this this is ammonia free. So all it is, this is just soapy water, you know. And you just spray it on there. I mean, the other guys that do this, they they they. They had their own technique. You try not to get too much of your finger on the back of that stick. I'm going to put this on upside down because I got the thing upside down. But uh, if you do this, you could actually slide it around. You see that's see the way I can uh, move that around, do what I want with it now. So I got my line down here. You see the line, and then uh, I'm going to measure for square here. Should be like three quarters of an inch. Go. Someday I'll learn how to use one of these things. All right. Wow. I'm gonna say it's dead nuts on, but it wasn't. Sticker must be must have a faulty sticker. Hmm. Oh well, this is where I gotta eye it up. This is where my uh, trained eye comes in handy. It's only a sticker, right? I'm dealing with shadows here. Never right. Anyway, I'm happy with it. Then you you work the water out from the center. To the edges. And then it'll find it, then it'll get, it'll find its own stick, it'll start sticking. And then you just wipe that off. And there you go. No, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't very crazy about putting a sticker on, but that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, good enough. Good enough for a dirty old uh, scooter. There we go. Uh, let me back you guys up a little bit. You can't see nothing. There you go. We at over here. There you go. Good enough. It's a lot. It's a lot straighter than that, dudes, huh? Look at that. All right. Let's do something else. I hate to admit it, but uh, the vinyl actually looks okay. I still wouldn't put it on a, a show engine, but uh, for what we're doing with, I'm happy. You know, this is actual vinyl, and then there's another type of vinyl. I think it's mylar. It's a little thinner, like them uh, balloons, and. Uh, I'd like to get hold of one of them stickers and try that and see what that looks like. If, if this one looks as good as that does, uh, I can only imagine, so. All right, yeah, we're happy. All right, what I think I'll do now is uh, I'll prep this uh, all for paint, clean all this up, and uh, take the shaft out. I know when you see the guys working on the shaft, it looks like it's in there pretty hard, but uh, I can actually push it out with my finger and see it moving. So, uh, you know, it's, it's tight enough that it'll turn a barren, but... Uh, not so tight that it's uh, it's not good, so that's uh, that's fine. That's just you know they had a hammer ready and uh, it's easier to just whack it out. So, all right, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, sand all this stuff down and scrape off some of the stickers here. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to paint the whole thing is because I wanted to save save some of it, like that sticker there. You know, that's actually a sticker. You know, you could probably buy that, but. Uh, you know that's this is silk screened on, and you got the manufacturer date, and you know the caution labels, and, and this paint is actually in pretty good shape, so that's why I didn't want to paint the whole thing. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this ready. I'm going to see if I can get a whole little dirt bike so he can come over here and uh, weld these gussets on for me. And once he welds them on, I can actually paint the bottom of this and. Uh, we can, we can start putting it all back together, and it's, it's almost ready to roll. 
this back piece here, this little uh, piece of metal that's on here, I'm going to actually keep this on here. It's got a bend to it, you know, because I think that the fender was shaped that way. And I'm going to straighten that out. And I'm going to leave that on there so that we could actually put like a little wire basket on there, you know, because we are going to use this as shows. And if we uh, find something in a flea market or something, we'll have a little basket we could throw it in. So, actually, you could probably have somebody could probably stand on that if you want to give them a ride. Hmm. Never thought of that. All right, let me clean this up a little bit and uh, get it ready for paint. All right, yeah, we got this all sanded down, ready to paint, clean this up, sand it all this down, stuff like that. Prepared the gussets. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll take a ride over a little dirt bikes, or maybe he'll come over here and he'll weld them up, and then I can paint this. I, uh, I'm going to leave the line right here to weld, you know, and leave this, leave this factory. The paint, the paint came out all right. The body work, I think the body work came out excellent. You, you can't even tell anything was done here, so I'm happy with that. But uh, considering this uh, little scooter is a little faded, and this paint is pretty fresh, I mean, it's pretty close, you know. And you're not going to see it. You're going to have... You're gonna have this big plate on there. Let's see if I do it with one hand. There you go. All right, the plate's gonna be on there. So uh, the only red you're gonna, the only new red you'll see is is here and, and under here. And you have to be, uh, you have to get down on your hands and knees to look at that. So, well, back here you'll see it. But uh, what are you gonna do, right? Yeah. So I'm happy with that. We're moving right along. So that'll. That'll uh, the scooter itself will be done, and uh, then we gotta we'll uh, hook up the motor. But uh, here's what we're gonna use for a throttle. This is a, a finger a finger throttle. I think this is off an old Kawasaki jet ski, but uh, that's what we're gonna use for the throttle. All right, let me, let me get the engine. I'll show you what we gotta do with that. All right. So if I get that painted up, it's uh, Saturday right now. If I get that painted up before Wednesday, Wednesday's engine night, we, we should be able to throw this engine together because it's all painted and done. Terry, it's all ready to get slapped together. So if uh, if I get that painted and uh, I get the uh, Mike and little dirt bike over here, maybe uh, maybe we should have this thing, if not running, pretty pretty darn close. So uh, that's where we're at. All righty. It's probably going to be a short one, but enough of this, eh?